Hello guys, this is NASCAR Fanatic24 here and welcome to a tutorial on hopefully how to fix audio issues with a dual PC setup using voice meter and an Elgato capture card of your choice. I will try my best to hopefully this will be the right solution. Uh, I found the solution as of just messing around and trying different things. And I was doing it as, as you see on screen, me typing up this detailed layout of how I was going about to resolve the issue. And yeah, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I did. Uh, but first, let me show you exactly how I have audio set up so that new people using a dual PC setup would understand what's going on. So first off, you I'm using voice meter potato only as a way of two purposes on this gaming PC capture that you see at the current moment. This software is used for two purposes. It's used one to receive audio from the stream PC to this PC through this software and then outputted through A1 to my headphones which are directly connected to the gaming PC. And then the other purpose is for this audio on this PC to be sent to the Elgato capture card via the next output. So everything on this right here is everything that's happening on this PC particularly. Uh, Discord audio, voice meter audio. It's all being sent. See, like right here, this would be sent to my... Uh, Thing right there but but if you also look in here and in the incoming streams virtual input three so these are the inputs here so my road mic from the gaming p or from the stream pc is being sent to this one right here the virtual and then discord is being sent to the virtual two and then this first one is just this pc i know it's a little confusing i hope you understand so let me reiterate this this right here are virtual inputs this first one is literally dedicated to just the gaming PC's audio. These two are the PC audio from the stream PC. I'll put it to my headset so I can hear it. So, with that being said, let's get to the fix so you understand what's going on. So I understand how audio is being routed. Keep in mind on both PCs, I have voice meter input, VB audio, voice meter VIO set as the default speaker. So everything is being routed into these voice meters programs. So the fix, I don't know 100% sure if this is the 100% fix. The more I test it, the more I'll be able to actually understand. So you go into video control panel. So here you go to set up multiple displays. This is how you go about sending the video across. Now keep in mind the audio is being sent via HDMI. So if the video is not working fully properly, my theory is the audio is not gonna work. You'll get this issue where you only get gameplay but no audio sent to the stream PC. So what I did simply was, I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna probably go crazy, but all I did was uncheck the first one because now keep in mind, both of these are being shared. So I unclicked it like I did, like I'm gonna do now. And I went down and hit apply. Okay. Then after I did that, I unplugged the HDMI cable out of the out of the back of the gaming PC, and then replugged it back in. Went back, rechecked the Elgato. Went down here. This is how you clone properly clone your gameplay. Right click on your main monitor, which is number one. And I cloned it to the capture card. And then I hit apply and save. So no, we're not going to apply the changes. But well, let's just make sure, you know, just make sure I didn't mess up my stuff. So yeah, everything's working. After that, all I did was go back into the software and just recheck my audio source. Then if you look at your streaming PC, you should see audio coming through. I do hope that this fix helped you solve your issue in regards to a dual PC audio issue. I really do. If it doesn't, I'm gonna, if it comes up again and it doesn't work, I'm gonna keep continually working to try to fix it. Uh, 
It took me a long time to figure out how all of this software works, but the more and more I use it, the more and more I understand at how to actually, how everything is routed, how everything, you know, complements each other in the software. So with that being said, I hope this video helped. If it didn't, let me know. I will see you guys in the next one.